Alrighty, I have been pondering on whether or not I should make a tutorial for some simple buttons. Um, I'm just going to do one of the tutorial, but I'm going to show you how I make my buttons. Uh, file new. Uh, make sure your width is 88 and your height is 31. Zoom in some and basically bring the opacity down. Let's see how much is one. That's one pixel. There we go. Basically, the only reason I did that was to see how far I should zoom in to make the um, background equivalent to one pixel. Now, I am going to do squared corners. Yep, yep, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Three, four, five, six. I like, I usually will go in either five or six, um, depending on how big I want the squares in here to be. And on this, I'm going to go on six. Now, remember to do multiple selecting. Press shift on your keyboard. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And remember to do it to the other side as well. Remember to, blah, remember to press shift. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, ah, three, yes, four, five, six. I'm counting them just to make sure I got them right. And it looks like I did. Set your opacity to normal. Select border 1. And, oh, I forgot to set the transparency. Add alpha channel. Always, always, always. And press the delete key on your keyboard. And then take your fuzzy select tool and actually you can select by color the yeah that one <laughs> select all and then go up here to select border again by one and just for the sake of argument I'm going to fill this in with black so make sure you have black selected and edit fill with foreground color that will automatically make a one pixel wide border around all the places that you want. I'm going to select by color all of the white and press the delete button. And yes, I know that takes the white out, but that's the point. Go to your layers. I went a little bit too fast there. <laughs> Go to your layers dialog, right click new layer, make sure transparency is clicked and click OK and because I don't want to get slapped on the wrist for any using of pictures that I shouldn't I'm going to use one of the patterns that came with GIMP. I shall use this pattern because I like it. Basically on your new layer fill it all in and go back to your this is basically the border layer. Select here. Remember to hold shift when doing multiple selections. Um, don't select the ones in the middle of the squares. You do not want that. You've got those selected. Go to your pattern layer and push delete. And there you have very nice, very clean. Yeah. And what I am going to do is do a new layer. <laughs> On here, I'm going to select all transparent and CTRL and I to invert it. And then I'm going to shrink by one, select shrink one. And on this new layer, I'm going to fill it with white. 
edit fill with background color and the reason I'm doing this is so I can bring down the opacity to make it not as bold because if it's too bold you're not going to be able to see the text clearly and the whole point of a button is so other people know of your site or your page so yeah you want to be able to see the text alright and I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit more there we go right click merge down and you have the basic foundation of your button go up here right click merge down alright now right click new layer I'm not going to add any animation to this I will do that in another video you will want to choose a font that is good for writing in small um, one of my favorites is Borgine I all Bor Borgnine Borgnine I always called it Borgine I also like Handy where is it there it is I like Handy and I like Ernest find my Ernest and I would have to say my favorite would be the one that has all the numbers in it <laughs> yep. 04 B 03 I will give some links in the sidebar to some really good fonts for this so, alright you scroll in or not that's completely up to you it's just personal preference and my button oh I forgot to set it down from oh geez it's still at 99 all right go to 10 oh I put by I can't type there we go 10 is not the right size there we go eight's the size yep some of these fonts are made specifically to be written in certain um, numbers, especially fonts that are made specifically for buttons. Um, usually they're made to be written in size 8 or 10. Most often than not it's 10. This is one of the ones that's 8. So, it is very, very bland that's okay I will fix that in the next video I'm going to make the text layer layer to image size and merge that down scroll in get that a little bit sort sorted to the center and again layer to image size and you have my button I will get into animation in the next video